Um, do you have other brothers and sisters who's living, uh, who are living with your parents? Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, I have one. Yeah, I have two brothers and one sister. Okay. So, Akhi, uh, brother Umar from India, I know it is pure cultural, but now we are asking from an Islamic perspective. The wife has a right, has a full right for a full independent housing. She doesn't have to live with others. And she is not required to serve other than her husband and her children and the family. So your parents are most welcome to visit anytime, day or night. They don't need to seek permission. They don't need to ask before coming. But the wife is not required to live with the parents or with the illos. And as you all know that, that is causing tremendous amount of problems. So Islamically, the wife has the right to have her own flat or house independently. So you need to explain that to your parents. Say, you know what, I'm going to hire or rent a flat next door. So we'll be coming visiting you every day. And you come and visit us and check on the kids. Inshallah, we'll have kids every day. But, you know, no one has a right to intervene with your wife's business. Today you got to cook biryani. Tomorrow you're going to cook paya. The, to, w tomorrow we're having guests coming from overseas. And in the evening, at 1 o'clock a.m., get up because we're having... Uh, you know the cousins are coming. No, no. She has to have her own house. Barakallahu feek, brother Omar. I know that this is not going to be pleasing to many people, but um, I, I do not present this program to please people. I present this program to share with you what Islam says in respect of answering your questions. And we got to make distinction between what is cultural and what is religious. In many, many cases, religion approves what is cultural and it honors it. But in many other cases, we have to correct what is cultural to suit what is religious.